Are you ready? This is an original this series brought to you by series brought to you by Mickey Made It. Welcome back to another episode of Whip Media TV. I'm your host, Whip Media Mickey, aka Mickey Made It. If you're new to the channel, you know what to do to the channel. Subscribe right now. Join the Fob Tribe. Okay, today's episode. There was a time in the summer of 1963, a beautiful soul was born in Newark, New Jersey. Her name was Whitney Elizabeth Houston. I remember the first song I sang in church was a song called Guide Me O Thou. And little did the world know that she would become one of the most influential and celebrated voices in music history. Whitney's journey began in a family deeply rooted in the entertainment industry. Her mother, Sissy Houston, was a renowned gospel singer and her cousin, Dionne Warwick, was already a successful pop star. From an early age, Whitney was exposed to the power of music and her natural talent quickly became evident. As she grew older, Whitney honed her vocal abilities in the church choir and performed with her mother on various gospel stages. Her voice, an awe-inspiring blend of power, range, and emotion, left audiences mesmerized. It was clear that she was destined for greatness. In 1983, at the age of 19, Whitney Houston signed her first major record contract with Arista Records. Her self-titled debut album, released the following year, skyrocketed to the top of the charts. Hits like Saving All My Love For You and How Will I Know showcased her vocal poise and charisma, earning her numerous accolades and awards. With each subsequent album, Whitney's fame and success only grew. She became a global icon, adored by millions around the world. Her rendition of I Will Always Love You from the soundtrack of the movie The Bodyguard became an anthem of love and heartache, solidifying her status as one of the greatest singers of all time. But despite her immense talent and success, Whitney faced personal struggles behind the scenes. The pressures of fame, combined with the challenges in her personal life, took a toll on her well-being. Substance abuse and toxic relationships added to her difficulties, and the public watched as the once glowing star began to dim. Despite her battles, Whitney continued to perform and maintain her presence in the music industry. Fans held on to the hope that she would overcome her demons and find the peace and happiness she deserved. But on February 11, 2012, tragedy struck when Whitney Houston was found unresponsive in her hotel room at the Beverly Hilton Hotel. The world was shaken by the news of her untimely death at the age of 48. An outpouring of grief and tributes flooded in from fellow musicians, fans, and celebrities worldwide. Her death left a void in the music industry as one of its most extraordinary voices was silenced forever. Whitney Houston's life and death serve as a reminder of the complexities that fame and success can bring. Her incredible talent and impact on the music world will be forever remembered while her struggles and the lessons learned from them continue to resonate with those who loved her. In the end, Whitney's voice and the joy she brought to millions through her music remain her lasting legacy, reminding us that even in the face of darkness, the power of a gifted artist can shine a light that transcends time and space. Until next time, Mickey made it. Rest in peace, Whitney Houston.